So I'm going to use the CG50 to differentiate and um, especially looking at graphs to do with that. So um, in the run mode, you can differentiate if at a particular point. So we press execute uh, to get onto the run menu. And then if you press F4 for math, you can see that you can get the first derivative of something. You press that button and then you just fill it in. So let's um, do, I don't know, 6x squared. And we'll work it out where x is equal to 5. That's going to be a big number. There we go. Or I could get the second derivative of 6x squared at x equals 5. OK, um, which is handy if you want to check your answers. Um, if you instead go to the graph menu, so I press menu and then five for the graph menu, um, we can do all sorts of things. So let's start by um, thinking about uh, tangents and normals. So I've got a cubic graph there. I'm going to draw it. OK. And um, if I press the sketch button and press tangent, I can press um, once I press that, you can see it's drawn it. If I press execute, there we go, it draws it again. I can get more information on there if I set up the calculator um, in a certain way to include derivatives. So I'm going to press shift and set up, shift menu, and scroll down till you see derivative. And then I'm going to choose on. OK. So now I'm going to draw. I'm going to press sketch and I'm going to say tangent. And can you see it now gives me the gradient to that point. Now, if you press execute, it gives you the equation of the line. Let's say I wanted a tangent at different points. So I'm going to press sketch again and I'm going to type in. I want the tangent at x is negative uh, 0.5. So I type in negative 0.5. Oops. Oh, hang on, it's not doing that, so I'll go exit, sketch, tangent, negative 0 0.5. There we go. Oh, I've got two on at once. That's confusing. Never mind. Uh, so we've got the other tangent. And again, if I press execute again, it gives me the equation of the straight line. So you can check that you've got your tangent equation correct. So I'm going to press sketch and I'm going to say clear screen. So that was CLS. So I've got rid of my tangents. Right, what about a normal? So press um, sketch again, F4, and I'm going to press normal. I would like the normal at the point 1. So I'm going to type in 1, execute. And I would like to know, I can see its gradient is minus, or the gradient of the curve is minus 5. I would like to know what the equation of the normal is. So I press execute. And there we go. It gives me the gradient is 0 0.2 for the normal, which we'd expect. And it's given the equation of the line. So I think that's that's a really useful thing to have. OK, if we go back to um, the typing in screen, so we press exit. If in doubt, press exit. I'm now going to go down and I'm going to get the sketch of the graph of the gradient function. So normally you have to do this by hand, but if we type in, so I'm, I'm going to press to the right, so I'm going to type, and then I'm going to press options, so that's next to the shift button, and you can see one of the options is calc, and in the calc list is that d by dx button like it was in run mode. So I'm going to press that, and I would like the derivative of the, the y1 graph, so I'm now going to type y1. So in order to do that, I need to kind of execute exit from the options. So I press exit, exit. Right, now I can see some Ys. I'm going to press F1 for Y. And I Y1 is the first um, equation at the top. And then I'm going along to where it says X. And I'm typing in X. So it's going to differentiate every point and plot that. OK, so let's just see. So the original one is a cubic. When you differentiate, you'd expect to get a quadratic graph. So I'm going to draw those. So the quadratic graph there is the gradient of the blue graph, the uh, cubic. I'm going to exit. If I preferred, there was the second derivative. So I'm going to um, press options again and calc. 
and then the second derivative, and I'd like the second derivative of the top graph. So I'm going to press Y and then 1, and then go along and type X. So it does it for every point. Okay, and then draw. There we go, and as we'd expect, we get a linear graph for that.